Hey everybody, John here. Today we're going to be making a bell sound within Citrus. So this is the sound that we're going to be making. So yeah, that's what we're going to be making today. So open up a fresh copy of Citrus and let's go to the default and then select the default patch. So let's dive into our first operator. Right click this here, convert shape to sign harmonics and then go over here to the fourth octave and maybe put it about 62 or 63 percent. Go to the next octave and skip one harmonic and drag it down just a little bit like that. So maybe 29 percent right there, harmonic 33. And then let's go to our volume envelope. Let's turn this on here, drag this point all the way to the left, turn on tempo. And then on this ending of this first beat here, take this uh, sustain all the way down. So that's already what we have so far right now. And then I'm gonna take this tension and just drag that down just a little bit more. So it fades out just a little quicker. So let's drop this uh, arrow down here, copy state, go to operator two, and then paste the same state. Let's right click here, convert shape to sign harmonics. And instead of going to this first octave, skip it, uh, just, uh, what is it? Harmonic 17, about like 52 or so percent. And then the same harmonic for this one and then just kind of pick a random one kind of here in the center, but have it kind of low. So you should be looking at something like that. So this one sounds like this. And then we're gonna drag this up one octave by doubling this from two to four. So that's what the second one is gonna sound like. So them together. And the second one is kind of just a little bit of uh, flavor to the first one. So let's go ahead and take these out of the output and route both to the filter and then to the output. Now, I already know from making this patch uh, quite a few times, let's take this second operator and take it out of the filter, not just a, just a little bit, just so it's not all the way in there because this one's kind of, uh, can be overkill pretty easily sometimes. So let's hop into the filter, right click this, go to vanilla low pass, and then go to the alt two. Let's bring this cut all the way and let's just kind of find to shave off that annoying top end there. So that should be okay about right there. And then the rest of the magic is gonna be in the effects. So let's turn this up to maybe about like 61 or so percent, maybe 65. We're not gonna be using chorus for this and let's turn on delay on. This time is okay at three and leave that at normal. And then delay two, turn that on, make our delay two right about there and then make the two one ping pong. So we have that. Now let's add a little reverb to open it up a little bit with the tempo on and then this color all the way at the top at warmer plus. And we can add a little bit more reverb there. So that is this bell in a nutshell. It's actually a pretty simple patch to make. It just kind of matters what type of uh, harmonics you use for your operators. And a little funny tip on the side, let's turn our effects off here. Let's FM uh, operator one and two a little bit with operator three. And then we have a banjo. Don't ask me how that works, but it does. So. Hope you learned something today and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.